But let's move on to some financial news. After being hailed as the future of money, 2022 has been cryptocurrency's worst year yet. The crypto market has lost $1.3 trillion worldwide. Hundreds of cryptocurrencies have completely disappeared, and Matt Damon has moved on to selling Herbalife. And now, <laughs> just when we thought the crypto world couldn't fall any lower, this happened. One popular cryptocurrency exchange is on the brink of collapse this morning. FTX filed for bankruptcy Friday, leaving investors scrambling and destabilizing the entire industry. The company's 30-year-old CEO, Sam Bankman-Fried, resigned, and his $16 billion fortune erased. Bloomberg has called his meteoric fall from grace one of history's greatest ever destructions of wealth. At its peak, the crypto exchange was worth $32 billion and benefited from superstar endorsements from Tom Brady, Giselle Bunchen, Naomi Osaka, and Steph Curry. The NBA's Miami Heat had its venue renamed as FTX Arena just last year, but now that name's coming off the building. The downfall of FTX began earlier this month, when reports raised serious questions about its financial health. Those questions triggered a bank run on the exchange, as too many customers tried to withdraw their assets. By Thursday, Bankman Freed was apologizing on Twitter, saying, quote, I'm sorry I f***ed up and should have done better. Yeah, one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges has filed for bankruptcy, going from being worth $30 billion to being $8 billion in the hole. And do you know how hard it is to lose that much money overnight without buying Twitter? This wasn't easy. <laughs> and, and, and look, I will say I am glad that he apologized, but a tweet saying, I f***ed up, doesn't capture the enormity of what you've done. <laughs> you know, I f***ed up is the wrong address. I f***ed up is like the wrong Uber or something. At the, very, at the very least, you've got to add like 10 more U's because you f oh. And this, this crypto collapse is sending shockwaves everywhere, everywhere, from people losing billions of dollars to the Miami Heat being forced to change the name of their arena, right? Now that FTX is broke, you saw that. And, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like this one is on the heat. Right? If you're gonna let a company buy the naming rights to your arena, at least make sure it's an established company. Don't commit to some crypto startup that's been around for two years. Huh? This is like going on a first date. And then when the person goes to the bathroom, you get a lower back tattoo of their name, you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's no way this could backfire. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, it's Janice? I thought it was Jenny. <laughs> and you have to admit, you have to admit, it is crazy that a crypto collapse can take so much real money with it. Think about it. It's fake money but people lost real savings. It's like finding out someone's imaginary friend died by driving your car off a cliff. You're like, how? <laughs> your friend wasn't real. They were real to me. <laughs> and personally, I hope Tom Brady didn't invest too much of his money in this company. Yeah, because otherwise he'll never be able to retire. Hey, he's gonna be like 90 years old in a huddle, just like, you're gonna run a post out left and, and you block the blitz and, and did I ever tell you about that time I had a friend who was a Negro baseball player and used to work at the pool with the kids at the Amtrak and the scabbard of my mom? My word of Joe Biden, come on!